What's up guys? Welcome to Daily Ed, where you get smarter daily. Today we're going to be working on a physics problem, more specifically a mechanics problem. Now, I want to start off by showing you guys the kinematic equations which are used in the first few chapters of mechanics. These kinematic, kinematic equations will help us solve um, pro uh, mathematical problems for um, motion, right, with constant acceleration. Now, to our first problem. It says, consider a car which is traveling along a straight road with, with constant acceleration between two checkpoints, A and B, that are 108 meters apart. The car travels from A to B in 4.32 seconds. Find the velocity difference. Uh, delta V equals V sub B minus V sub A. Right? And then we have our answer choices, A through F. Right? Let's look at those later. First of all, let's draw our problem because we all know that drawing in physics is very helpful. So we have, consider a car traveling along a straight road with constant acceleration A between two checkpoints, A and B. So we have our first point, we have our point A, and we have our second point, we have point B. Right? And then it says, we have constant acceleration. So we know our acceleration, which I'm going to draw on top or write it down on top. Uh, it says these checkpoints are 100, 108 meters apart. So we have an x or a delta x, let's call it delta x of 108 meters. And then we have car travels from A to B in 4.32 seconds, so we have a delta t. four point thirty two seconds right now if you notice our answer choices we don't have any values we only have expressions so we know that we're gonna be using an equation to solve for we know we're gonna be using an equation to solve for our for our answer but our answer doesn't have to be units so in order for to confuse us or to make us do extra work they they decided that they were gonna give us values right now uh, acceleration we have given 6.91 meters per second. And that's also given in the in the problem. Now, we know that we're going to be solving we know if we look at our kinematics equations, we have um this equation v final equals v naught plus at or delta t if you want to call it. Now, this equation t gives us all that we have to know. We have acceleration, we have a change in time, we have our initial, which is we know it's zero because we start at A, and the problem says the problem says that the car travels from A to B in 4.32 seconds. This implies that our, our V naught is zero, correct? So we know this, we know acceleration, we know time, and we want, uh, and we know our velocity or we know that that's what we need to find because the problem asked for change in v, right? Delta v. If you recall, delta v, what, what exactly does delta v stand for? Well, delta v stands for change in velocity, which means velocity final minus velocity initial. If we look at this equation, it's so beautiful because all we have to do, we have to bump this not v naught to the other side and we have our expression so that gives us and if we look at our answer choice we have negative 2 a delta t we have one half a t. We have delta v equals a t, and that is exactly what we found earlier. And there you go.